Welcome to Lesson 1.3's Math Moment. Today we talked all about rate situations and showing rate situations in a rate table. So I'm going to walk through an example. It says, at the public library there are late fees in place if you do not return your book on time. That fee is $1.25 per day. Complete the rate table below to show how the fees increase each day. So I know from the word problem that the fee is $1.25 per day. The word per also means each, which will help us a lot in math. So I know that one day per day, each day, it's going to cost $1.25. To complete my rate table, I know that each day it's going to get bigger by $1.25. So from this box to this box on my rate table, I should be adding $1.25. I can do this a couple of ways. I can take 125 plus 125, or I can take 2 times $1.25. Either way, you should get the same answer. Of $2.50. If I were to take 125 times 2, I would also get $2.50. Now, my rate is going to continue to increase by an additional $1.25 on the third day as well. So again, I could solve this two ways. I could take my $2.50 plus 125, or I could take three times 125 to find out what's the, what is the next unit in my rate table. So I'm just going to add on here, since I already have some addition going, but you are of course more than welcome to use multiplication as well. And then for the fourth day to find out how much I would owe if I had overdue library books, I'm going to add another $1.25 because it is a constant rate. That's what we use in a rate table. It's always the same amount from one um, section of the table to the next. So $3.75 plus $1.25 or you could do $1.25 times 4 because $1.25 is the unit rate. And after four days of overdue books, I would owe the library $5 in late fees. So again, the unit rate was $1.25, and in a rate table, we just get bigger by the unit rate as we continue down the table. If you have any questions on 1.3's homework, make sure to ask your teacher.